Hello everyone, and welcome to the latest Minty Reacts, and we are here for the next episode of The Legend of Korra, Book 2, Spirits, episode number 6, The Sting. Last episode, we got Korra having a lot of emotional trouble, a lot of um, fiery decisions, best way to put it, and um, yeah, basically trying to, you know, start a war, or continue a war, I should say, and also breaking up with Mako, or Mako breaking up with her. It's eh, it's a mutual thing. They, they both really didn't like each other at the moment, because they were both really angry. Um, also, Korra got eaten by a spirit so don't know what's going on there i guess we'll find out in this episode but basically there's just a lot going on <laughs> because of the ongoing civil war between the water tribes or the water nations whatever and Korra being the avatar stuck in the middle and there's just a lot happening here so let's just get into the episode shall we and let's see how this all continues and to see where exactly Korra ended up after getting eaten by the spirit so in three two one let's get going Huh. All right, that actually is the water tribe. Eric is not going to be happy about this. No, he's not. No, he is not. Okay, so the north, so the north just attacked one of Eric's shipping vessels. So that's great. He'll be here. Oh. Oh. He's coming out of the spirit realm. Within our grasp, until a dark spirit attacked her. They're out of control. You didn't get her? Well, no, she got eaten by a spirit. Also, the yeah, Avatar, pretty sure not. They're, pretty sure they're not dead. Pretty sure she's not dead. You know. Oh no, they're working Naga into the propaganda film. No. Now we must stop the evil Unalak. <laughs> oh no. They actually went along with this. My waterbending doomsday device! <laughs> they actually went through with this! No! Oh my god, no. Not talk, you're not just the hero of the South. <laughs> oh you're no! You're our best friend. <laughs> oh my god, no! Talk. He's the biggest, baddest, cunningest man I know. <laughs> oh my god! The hero of the south! They actually went along with this. Oh my god. I cannot believe this. Stars tell them what to think and how to act. Bolin? He's not wrong. Tried to force a He's monkey not wrong. Armit to ride a bicycle? Uh, what? <laughs> No? No? And before long, they'll persuade the president to lend his troops to the war effort. That That is what propaganda films are. <laughs> that is, in fact, what they are. Well, I will save my true love and the South. <laughs> oh, no, the wire work. No. No, I can't believe they did this. Okay, I can 100% believe they did this because it's Varric we're talking about. Knock, knock. My anti-energy net makes bending impossible! That's not a thing. That's not a thing. <laughs> on a lock strap and save the beautiful ginger. Find out next week on The Adventures of Knock Talk. Oh no! Oh my god. Tree on screen. Am I right? Yeah. On screen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, the good news is it looks like your first mover has gotten a great reception. That's, That's good. old news! Let's go! <laughs> Varric is chaos, man. Absolutely chaos. Sayo, I don't know how much longer I can keep my company going. What am I gonna do? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm gonna find who's ever responsible. Chief Baif. Um, it, it was Unalak in the north. <laughs> Which means another problem for us. Uh, all this stress is gonna turn old Black Beauty gray. <laughs> Bombs exploded in a way I've never seen before. They didn't have fuses. It was like they were being detonated remotely. Like the bombs at the cultural center. Hey, okay, maybe it wasn't the Northern Water Tribe. Can't believe they took my fifth favorite ship in the Varric Industries fleet. Named her after His fifth my mom. Ship. No. Rest in peace, Rocky Bottom. <laughs> Mako, Chief, I don't think the people who attacked were Northern Water Tribe. They were probably disguised as Northern Water Tribe. But I have an idea how we can catch these guys. No? Yeah, let's all listen to the rookie. He's doing a better job than you. He is actually doing a job. A sting operation. 
I was thinking we'd set up a bait ship, take it out into the open ocean, and capture whoever attacks it. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. I need your help. My mom is gone. My dad is in jail. Future Industries is all I have left of my family. Yeah, you, you kind of need to help her. A ship. I want in on whatever you're talking about. I love being in on plans. The less you know, the better. <laughs> Perfect. I love not knowing things. <laughs> Even better. Even better. I mean, Mako, Mako is, he's, he's right here. This is a really good idea. Just have a complete sting operation, try to get these guys, and honestly, in this situation, it is better to ask for forgiveness than ask for permission. Not yet. We need some extra manpower. What about Korra? No better muscle than no. Avatar. Eh, no. Uh, that ain't gonna happen. Um, no. Hey, Mako! What do you think? I did a little redecorating. It turns out that one of the perks of being a star, you get lots of cash. You do get a lot of money. Attacking the shipments and I need your help. You need my help. Ugh, I don't know. I'm kind of busy. <laughs> With what? Help or not. You know, I recall a time when I needed your help and you basically told me to get a life. So that's a no. What am I supposed to do now? Uh, did anything else except for him. <laughs> oh, my instrument! Bolin is becoming kind of rude. Let's just, let's just go with that. He's just becoming very rude. Fame is getting to his head. I'm running an off-the-books operation, and I thought the triple threats might want a piece of the action. Oh, no. How big a piece? Oh, no. Mako, this is not a good idea. I've got vehicles. All brand new and top of the line. They can be yours if you help. If you buy them from me. We need sales. Ah, uh, Maka, this is not a good idea. You can't be working with the triad here. That's not good. You're trying to ambush somebody, which is what That's we're doing true. here. And it's basically what I'm always doing. I mean, I am a gangster after all. And I... 2 toad ping, please. Oh. <laughs> please, shut up. No. Ping, stay focused. What? Why are you so weird about it? If I was dating the Avatar, I'd tell you all about it. <laughs> yeah, rough situation, my guy. <laughs> yeah, right. You broke up with the Avatar. Like, that happened. It, it did, though. It did, though. Two. <laughs> <laughs> all right, will you guys knock it off and do your job? I don't see how this plan can work at all. Not with the triad, at least. There's no kiss in the script. Sorry, I just kind of lost myself in the moment. Yeah, I lived it. It, it. I lived it. It'll work. Yes! It's genius! Everybody take five! Except for you, Julie. Grab the tweez. <laughs> God. But also, you need to kind of go over that first. You need to go over that first. And it seemed like you liked it too. <sighs> no. She's an actor. You're Bolin, no. A minute ago when we were shooting, you were into me. But now you're not. That's because Ginger loves Nuktuk, not Bolin. Yeah, that's called acting. That's called acting, Bolin. Taking so long. You just gotta relax, like me. Maybe try taking your shoes off. I'm gonna check it out. Have they already been attacked? She's not gonna be happy about that. Too bad. We were paid to keep Mako and that dame distracted for a few ah. hours. So that's what we're gonna do. Okay, this thing operation was a front. Okay, I see. I see. The triad played him. Which is why I said it was not a good idea to work with the triad. <laughs> They're the triad. Where do you think you're going? Mm. But again, imagine that the triad turned on them. Who would have thunk that was going to happen? But also, then, who paid them off? That's the other question. Like, who paid them off? But the person, but the people that paid them off, the same people that actually have been robbing the ships. Wow. Come on, Asami. Keep it steady. Okay, she kept it steady. Doing good. Doing good. Asami is a great driver <laughs> of everything. It seems. Good job, Asami. They're getting closer. Not for long. You're gonna make it. You made it. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're stalled. Uh oh. I mean, this is cool, though. This is a very cool fight scene. 
Damn, good job, Asami. From what? Oh no. From something else. More than likely from your warehouse. That just got robbed. Damn. Whoever paid the triple threat stole everything. Damn. I'm ruined. Wow. That's rough. That is rough. It's over. I give up. Well, no, don't give up. I'm though. not giving up on you. Yeah, Mako, don't give up. This is also your job, but yeah, don't give up. <gasps> okay, they're back together again. That that it's fair. Run. I'm gonna find out who did this. And I yeah. know just who to ask. <laughs> really? I don't know. You have to believe me. We never met the guy who hired us. <laughs> okay, okay. Please, I would never lie to you with my lucky toes on the line. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> So who hired them? That is the question. Who hired them? Nook Tuck. Yes. Oh. Bolin is taking this way too much to the head right now. Hmm. Can't say that I've seen him, but I've been kind of busy, you know, rehearsing for my big scene. There's going to be some crazy pyrotechnics. That <laughs> oh, my God. Am I going to figure something out here with this? Wait, remote explosives. Remote explosives! You rig those explosions to go off like that? Neat, huh? It's a Varric Industries exclusive. Here, check it out. Varric Industries exclusive. That's a remote explosive. Huh. Wait. Hello, Mako. But why? What are you doing here? He just saved my company. Varric bought a controlling interest in future industries. But why? What? Was it just business? So what were you saying, Mako? You think you know who hired the triple threats? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm real close to proving it. Oh no. Okay. Was it Varric is the real question here, though. Meanwhile, Cora's not dead. But where is she? That's the real question. It's okay. We're here to help you, Avatar. Yep, Cora. that's the Fire Nation, yeah. Who's Who's Avatar Cora? Uh oh. Oh no. She has amnesia. I don't know. I can't remember anything. Oh no. Uh, oh, she's going through some stuff right now. Well, that's not good. Interesting way to end that episode. Very, very intriguing. Okay. As I mentioned in the last episode, there's a lot going on here. But is Varric really the one who was trying to sabotage Asami's business? Like, from a shady business capitalistic standpoint, oh, 100%, that makes sense. It makes 100% sense. Varric taking out his competition, that makes perfect sense. But we've kind of established at this point, Varric's kind of a good guy for the most part. He's chaotic as hell, but he's not a bad guy. Capitalistic, yes, but he's not bad. So this all seems like way more than he would do. So like there might be more stuff going on here, but it is leaning towards him. Now, granted, cliffhangers are a thing, so it could just be new misdirection kind of a thing here, which is, you know, age old storytelling technique of misdirection. But I do think Mako is on to something, though, and he's been on something the whole time. Like, Mako's actually doing his job. Like, he is actually being a... He's being a cop here. He's being an actual like, detective, even though he's a beat cop. And basically, this is just L.A. Noir. <laughs> this is just L.A. Noir, but it, it is Republic City. So it's Republic City Noir. So that's just fun. But there's a lot going on. Also, Korra has amnesia wherever she is. Wherever she is. She seems to be in the Fire Nation, or some place with the Fire Nation of some somewhere, I think. But don't know she she might be in the spirit world it, it, i don't know <laughs> don't know um also bolan just become kind of a dick um the, the fame and star power has gone to his head and uh with a character like bolan that's not good <laughs> that is not good because he is um let's just go with the cinnamon roll let's just let's just say cinnamon roll as the nice way of putting the type of character that bolan is but there's a lot of interesting things going on. But Mako, Mako, though, was on a good track with it being a sting operation and trying to find out who was doing this. But if Varric is the one who is, who is you know, doing all this stuff, then it would make sense why the sting operation failed, and it's because Varric paid off the triad to not attack, obviously. So that would make sense. And then, you know, be able to, you know, steal everything from... Future Industries Warehouse. So I don't I don't want to believe it's Varric, but it is leaning towards him. But again, 
could be could be a whole like red herring situation could be a whole like uh, misdirection type thing but it is looking very strange and also i am I, i'm really wondering how all of that plays into the civil war aspect going on right now with the southern water tribe and the northern water tribe like how does that all play together and then of course where is cora that, that is a big question of where is cora at and what happened to her memories so we're probably going to get that all in the next episode next i think that's what the next episode is a two-parter so yay another two-parter um interesting how they have their putting these two parts really close to each other so we got a two-part of deck so that'll be next week's episode but this is really intriguing it's very very intriguing let me know down in the comments below what your theories and thoughts are up to this point in the episode or up to this point in the series if you've already watched the series obviously no spoilers i say that just because but what are your theories and stuff about what's going on here and do you do you trust mako <laughs> like, like do you actually trust mako's skills and do you do you trust varic as well like would you trust varic in the situation and would you trust mako um so let, just let me know that down in the comments below what your thoughts are up to this point in the uh, in the series as well and if you like this episode as well leave a like it helps out and it uh, makes everything more noticeable in the algorithm for youtube to have more people find the channel and all that good stuff because that it does help out in the overall scheme of this platform i guess i think and if you want to help out even more go ahead and subscribe down below it definitely does truly help out and means a lot to me as we get on this pathway to a thousand subscribers eventually but yeah until next time uh, if you want to see more from the channel right over here's gonna be a place for something else you want go ahead and watch that too and over here's gonna be a video that YouTube recommends for you as well and until next time just stay bending everyone i'll see you next one until then peace everyone peace